Greg Marcus here back in our Egan, Minnesota Manufacturing Distribution Center. Wanted to do a little video on how do I coat a screen for all you new people getting into the business. That's one of the questions that we get asked all the time. How, how, how is it done? Is it easy? Is it messy? Is it fussy? Um, and we're just going to make this really nice and simple. First thing is, is that we're going to be coating the screen with Rhinosol 500, which is a dual cure emulsion. Uh, we also have a 600, which is for water uh, resistant or water inks and so forth. Um, the way you use this is you get a pre-measured amount of diazosensitizer, fill the bottle up with water, shake it thoroughly, pour it into your container, and mix it up. At that point, you're going to see it do a color shift, so it's easy to know that you have it mixed thoroughly. At the same time, just lay the lid on top so that there's no light getting in, and let the air bubbles gas out of the out of the emulsion, which will make it easier for you down the road. You want to have a scoop coater. Uh, these are made out of aluminum extrusion. You can cut them to whatever length that you want to order them in. It's a plastic end cap. Um, you'll notice here that it has an angle. So when I go to put it on the screen, I'm going to tip it all the way up to where this corner is filling or touching that screen, which will make it a lot easier for me. We have a 20 inch by 24 inch frame and um, this is 15 inches so it fits nicely inside of that aluminum channel. So the way I'm going to do this is I take my screen, hold it firmly, I rock, let it fill, back off, and shear it. We're going to do it two times on the back side. And we're going to do it once on the inside. That is how you coat a screen. Simple, easy. Now, of course, I would normally not be doing it in this amount of light. I'd be doing it in a subdued area. Um, it's not going to expose in that amount of time. I now would take this screen and I want to really have it dry in this position. You remember I did two in the back and one on the well side. The reason I do that is so that the last coating on the well side or your squeegee side, I'm pushing the emulsion back through, settling it onto the bottom side of the screen. That's where we want to have all of our buildup. We've encapsulated the fibers. This is going to be a really durable screen. Dry it in this position so again the emulsion will settle. I've done it this way. It can be done. Um, but it's simple. It's easy. No mess, no fuss, simple, easy, fast. Thanks for watching. Give us a like, and you'll know where to find us. We'll be back with another video on exposing this screen the proper way. Thanks again for watching. Until then.